A nine-year-old Pennsylvania boy is on his way to becoming a real-life Doogie Howser. Aiden Wilkins just started college and is now studying neuroscience. And now he wants to help other kids. <laughs> Academics has always been easy for this nine-year-old freshman in college. On Monday, he started off his week at Ursinus College. Ever since I was three, <laughs> a lot younger, um, I was been, I've been watching anatomy vi videos and I was always fascinated when I saw like the brain. In a classroom filled with 18 to 20 year olds, Aiden is working to make his dream come true as a pediatric neurosurgeon. The reason why I want to be a pediatric neurosurgeon is mainly because, well, I like helping kids around my age. Three times a week, Aiden can be seen hitting the books at Ursinus College. The other days, he's taking virtual classes at Reach Cyber Charter School as a sophomore in high school. At just nine years old, Aiden Wilkins is the youngest student in history at Ursinus College. It's exciting because he's making history. I think him being in this classroom, he feels, you know, people see me now. And I think that's so important to be seen and heard. Aiden's mom, Veronica Wilkins, says she knew her son was gifted the moment he was able to speak. He was reading signs and correcting people's sentences. Uh, and he was actually correct <laughs> in correcting sentences. Um, and, you know, writing algebraic equations. And three years ago, he passed a gifted test administered by his high school. And about a year ago, Aiden made it clear he wanted a new challenge. His mother did the research and landed at Ursinus College for its courses and its proximity to their home near Collegeville. As a mom, how proud are you of Aiden? I am extremely proud of Aiden um, because it's all him. It's all organic. I'm just, you know, behind the scenes helping to navigate his interests and his desires. So I'm extremely proud of him and he just he goes for what he wants. Aiden wants everyone to know anything is possible. All you have to do is put the work into it to do whatever you want. What were you doing at nine? At fourth grade. <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna call my kids and see what they you know, CMS is out of school today. I need to see what they're doing in their day off. But you know, you said it earlier. I mean, kudos to the kid, but, but also kudos to the, that mom. Yep, the mom, uh, the parents. I mean, because wow. here's the thing: you've got to keep up with that. Like you, you've got to keep him entertained. You got to keep him, you know, learning and, and, and feed those interests. Yeah, yeah. Even if you're born with a child like that, you still got to engage with them and exactly. make sure that you that you foster that growth. Yes, incredible.